Joe Biden met with China's President Xi Jinping for the first time since taking office, and it was a chance for Biden to confront Xi on what he's done to us, the fentanyl flooding into our towns, the virus unreleased onto our shores. But those things don't really seem important to the president. Joe was there for one thing and one thing only, to talk about the climate. The world expects, I believe, China and the United States to play key roles in addressing global challenges from climate uh, changes to food insecurity. Food insecurity. What happened to COVID and fentanyl? Biden campaigned on being tough on China, right? I spent more time with Xi Jinping than any world leader had by the time we left office. This is a guy who is, has, doesn't have a Democratic with a small d bone in his body. This is a guy who is a thug. we got to make it clear. They must play by the rules. Thank you, Mr. Period, Mr. period, period. Pumping millions of dollars in fentanyl pills into the country isn't playing by the rules. Unleashing a virus and then covering it up isn't playing by the rules. Biden forgot his promise. He always does. But the press isn't even allowed to ask him about it. Dozens of reporters traveled with him halfway around the world, and only four were allowed to ask questions. I'm told there are going to be four questioners, but I'm not going to do 10 questions from each questioner. All right? Let's make that clear at the outset here. <laughs> Biden was given a prepared list of approved questioners. Somehow, our very own stupid son of a bitch, Peter Ducey, didn't make the cut. But when it came time for Joe to read from the note card, he had a little trouble. Um, uh, I can't have trouble reading this. Reuters, uh, Natanja Bose. The whole world was watching, and he can't read from a piece of paper. This is why we're nervous. This guy's supposed to be president for the next two years. And some Democrats want to see another four. <laughs> I mean, I don't see how that's possible, but, I mean, even Joe's old friend Michelle Obama isn't ready to endorse Biden just yet. Do you hope that President Biden will run again in 2024? You know, I, 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 I will have to see. <laughs> Monica Crowley is a yeah. former assistant treasury secretary and host of the Monica Crowley Politics. I, have you ever seen Michelle that tongue-tied? I've never seen her <laughs> speechless like that before, Jesse. Uh, look, I think after the midterm election results, there are a lot of Democrats who have come out publicly like Mrs. Pelosi and said, oh, sure, Joe's going to run again in 2024. We're all behind him. They are placating him, okay? The only person who thinks Joe Biden is going to run for re-election is Joe Biden, okay? okay. <laughs> because he's, he's not all there, right? He can't even read. Mrs. Obama, and you and I have talked about this before, you know, there, there might be some other Democratic challengers, Kamala Harris, Gavin Newsom, Mrs. Clinton, but the one, the, the, really the dog that hasn't barked is Mrs. Obama. She's Ooh. got this new book out. She is like everywhere. There's a great new documentary out called Michelle Obama 2024 that oh, lays no. all of this out. She is actually following the path of her husband, Stop and it. Bill Clinton, and you're Mrs. Clinton. You're not serious. Do I, you I think... don't know. I, all I'm saying is nobody is really focused on her as a potential Democratic candidate. But I think, you know, she's sort of laying the groundwork with this book tour. Oh, she's you targeting are just women and minorities. Up trouble. I don't know about this. She's got a voting rights group that oh, she was running no. with Stacey Abrams. I, I'm telling you, she could, could be. Could she the confront Xi Jinping on fentanyl and COVID? Could she do that? Because Joe is just out to lunch. Well, uh, look, Joe Biden is really compromised by the CCP. He and his family, including Hunter and his brother and Joe Biden, have gotten tens of millions of dollars from the CCP and related enterprises. So the idea that the American commander in chief is going to be tough on China when the Chinese essentially own him, literally own him, forget it. So Even though you have years, over a million Americans dead from COVID, hundreds of thousands dead from fentanyl. And you remember how seriously he took COVID. Every death, I mean, he, he mourned every death. He carried the piece of paper. Remember the little piece of paper he used to come out and read how many deaths there were at the time? You're saying that thing came from China and he doesn't care anymore because he's gotten money from Beijing? He doesn't raise it with them. And the question every American needs to ask is, is the president of the United States serving America's interests 
or his own. And uh, is it because the Chinese have so much compromise on Joe Biden and because they have paid the Biden family so much money, this is why he remains soft on China? That is a legitimate question for every American to ask. Well, I heard that the press has to submit their questions beforehand. One of the, yes. I believe it was an African reporter, she got really angry at Pierre because she never gets called on. And she blew the whistle and she said, listen, these things are sent in advance. He gets the questions in advance. The people are pre-selected. Is anybody ever going to ask him, do you think your family's financial situation is affecting your policy towards China? Well, and not just that. I mean, obviously, China is our premier enemy, right? Our premier uh, foreign enemy. And so this is a legitimate question that needs to be asked. Nobody has asked it yet. But consider the other big hot spot in the world, Ukraine. The Biden crime family is completely compromised on Ukraine. So again, is the president of the United States representing all of us in America's interests, or is he representing his own interests and that of his family? Or maybe... Peter Ducey will get to ask that one of these press conferences. I hope so. We'll hold our breath. All right, thanks, Monica. You bet.